beginning of a new era, the selection of a brand new Old Dominion University Monarch football coach. The process has been epic. The results will be epic, of course. And the gentlemen sitting to my rights are the huge factors when it comes to making this all happen in a timely fashion with the best of Old Dominion University as the main goal. The first fan, ladies and gentlemen, the eighth president of Old Dominion University, the key when it comes to the selection process, John R. Brock. Before we move forward today, I want to step back and recall what started here 13 years ago and the foundation and the new house that was built by Bobby Wilder. As we discuss Coach Ronnie this morning, let's none of us lose sight of what Coach Wilder's contributions were, which really got us to this next evolution that we're at today. I've been involved in athletic searches as either a president or a vice president in charge of athletics for nearly 20 years. And I can tell you in this instance, this one was probably the most difficult and yet also the easiest. We had a superb list of people interested in this job. And we were challenged in a good way to find the best fit for Old Dominion University our football program, and most importantly, for our student athletes and our fans. Ricky Ronnie checked every box for me. Commitment to student athletes earning a degree, commitment to student athletes being engaged in the campus and the community, and a commitment to building a winning football program. I want to thank Bruce Stewart and Wood Selig for their tremendous and thorough job in moving this search along. By higher ed standards, this was full speed ahead, I can assure you. We had some difficult choices, but I'm convinced we've hired the right man and family to lead this program. The fact that so many of you are here today tells us all we need to know about the importance of getting this decision right. And I know Ricky Ronnie is and will prove to be the right choice. So to Ricky and Jen and the boys, welcome to Old Dominion University. And I also want to tell you how well-versed his two sons are. Last night at dinner, I was telling them how excited we were in Norfolk to have Hamilton playing here this week. One of his sons informed me he'd already seen it twice. <laughs> so that's the level of sophistication we're bringing from State College to Norfolk as we go forward. So it's a delight to have all of you with us, and we look forward to enjoying your company, but more importantly, of being part of what you're trying to accomplish here. So welcome to all of you.